Do it yourself. Simple skills, big results. How to know if growth plates are closed? Have you ever wondered how to tell if a child's growth plates have closed? This is an important question because growth plates play a crucial role in bone development. To start, growth plates are areas of cartilage at the ends of long bones like the femur and tibia. These plates are responsible for bone growth and they are softer and more vulnerable to injury than the surrounding bones. So when do these growth plates close? The answer varies depending on the child. Generally, girls' growth plates close around the ages of 14 to 15, while boys' growth plates close a bit later, around 16 to 17 years old. However, these ages can vary from child to child. One way to determine if growth plates are closed is by looking at X-ray images. On an X-ray, growth plates appear as dark lines at the ends of the bones. Once the cartilage in the growth plate hardens into bone, this dark line disappears, indicating that the growth plate has closed. Your pediatrician or orthopedic surgeon can also use growth charts to monitor your child's height and weight. These charts help estimate how much more growth a child might experience. Additionally, X-ray markers from the hand or pelvis can provide more precise estimates of remaining growth. Another indicator is the completion of puberty. Once a child has finished their pubertal growth spurt, the growth plates are usually closed. Most children stop growing significantly about two years after this spurt. In summary, by combining x-ray evidence, growth charts, and the timing of puberty, you can determine whether a child's growth plates have closed. This information is vital for understanding and managing a child's bone health.